tell me what keeps this airplane aloft? Here's a hint. It's on the board. Chalk? <laughs> hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. Although, I'm not that late. And I'm not that sorry. Derby, sit down. I'm in the middle of my lesson. We're learning about... <gasps> King Kong? Okay, I can see why your head went to giant ape. Hey, I'm not an ape. I brought donuts. <gasps> Getting back to the lesson. That's not banana. Lab like banana. Uh, uh, easy, Coco. I think there's a banana cream in there. Nope. Nope. <gasps> nope. Nope. <laughs> Finally, found the banana cream. Wait, what am I doing? I had a big breakfast, I really shouldn't. Great. Another unfinished lesson and another cleanup call today. You called? Ah! <laughs> what happened? You covered in blood. It's not blood, it's jelly. Too bad. Brought easier to clean. <laughs> Sounds like a great cause. I'd be happy to deliver hot meals. Okay, bye. So, what do you think? I think I know who to call when I need a ride to the airport. Perfect, that's what I was going for. I read that taxi cabs are yellow because it's the easiest color to spot, and I'm trying to get Hutch to notice me. Oh, wait a minute. You read something? <laughs> It's not blood, it's jelly. Too bad. Blood's easier to clean. I had another rough day in class. I can't get my students to behave. Give it time. You'll get there. You're a man, not a machine. He's not even a man. A machine. That's it. I've got to get to my lab. Yo, taxi! <laughs> All right, now that I've had my toast, I'm gonna start building my robot. I can't believe I'm not the only one who read that article. <laughs> Ooh, there's Hutch. Take me to the cafeteria, but avoid the west hallway. It's always crazy busy this time of day. Look, Ivy, I know Hutch is cute, but don't you think this is a bit desperate? No, it's very desperate. <laughs> Desperation was supposed to help me reach my goal, much as it did Oppenheimer in his race for the bomb. Wow, I really am reading too much. <laughs> you know, maybe you should just find another guy. That's a great idea. Another guy will totally make Hutch jealous. I need to find a fake boyfriend. That's actually not what I meant. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> Where to, Mac? Good morning, class. We have a new student joining us today. Hello, members of my peer group. I am a new student here. I'd like you all to welcome Arthur. Okay, class, let's pick up our lesson on aerodynamics where we left off. Oh! <laughs> Slap! Well, to be fair, that is where we left off. 
You will stay in your seat. Whoa, whoa. We are here to learn and improve our cybernetic processing units. I mean mine, haha -ha joke. <laughs> Good one, Arthur. How very uh, human of you. <laughs> no one makes a haha -ha joke at my expense. That'll teach you. <laughs> Here's an idea. How about I do some teaching? If you'll take your seat. I don't think so. Then I will be forced to immobilize you in another fashion. <laughs> Whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa, yeah. oh. huh. Is this what being bullied feels like? Because this is not pleasant. Dude, the way you handled Slab was awesome. Ow! You think what he did to Slab was cool? Arthur, run emergency protocol T4. Understood. Mmm. <laughs> this is some of the best butt toast I've ever had. You see, he's an android. Arthur stands for automated robotic teenager. Hippopotamus umbrella rainbow. <laughs> Hippopotamus Umbrella Rainbow? I needed something for the H, U, and R. Why didn't you just name him Art? Where were you yesterday? Are you sure this thing is safe? If I learned anything from the movies, it's that robots always turn on their creators. And if you're a cop two days from retirement, call in sick. Don't worry, Arthur's perfectly safe. I programmed him with three prime directives. Arthur. Directive one, I will protect my creator from harm and injury. Directive two, I will obey all orders except when doing so would conflict with directive one. Directive three, I will provide toast whenever requested. <laughs> except during Passover. We'll do anything we say, get out of here. And we'll get out of here. Think of all the possibilities. He could pick up heavy stuff, put it down again. Do I have to come up with all the cool ideas? Arthur is not here for your amusement. Actually, he's not here at all. Oh, no. Arthur? Arthur? Now, only one of you will become my next boyfriend. But rest assured that if you don't, it's only because you're ugly. <laughs> Let's begin, shall we? Too short. Too scrawny. Too ugh. <laughs> Too dorky, too sweaty, too much like the uh guy. Derby, I better not see your face in this line again. Fine. <sighs> too smelly, too nerdy, too girly. I'm not in the line. And this is to me. You're just using these guys. Anyone who doesn't want to be used by me, please feel free to leave. Come on, people. What do you see in her? She's nothing more than a pretty face and a perfect body. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking now. Too sloppy. Too many. Bonjour, chérie. Je m'appelle Antoine Bolognaise. Boku, ugh. None of these guys are gonna make Hutch jealous. Hello, fellow students. And a hearty bonjour to you. Ooh, but he will. Zutala! Oh. I still can't find Arthur. He's over there getting a 21-point inspection from your sister. Oh, no, this is terrible. I know. What does he have that I don't have? Other than chiseled features, abs of steel, and the ability to make toast in his pants. You're cute. Are you a model? More of a prototype. So why haven't I seen you around before? Because I just transferred from insert school name here. Ha <laughs> ha! Arthur is such a kidder, always with the ha ha jokes. <laughs> Let's go, Arthur. Don't move! No, Arthur. We should have lunch together. We should have lunch together. <laughs> <laughs> 
because I eat in order to nourish my human body, which is powered by food and not a battery Adam stole from his mother's car. Stupid car. I guess those seniors won't remember missing a meal. I really don't think you should have lunch with Arthur. Go away. Hey, we'll go away. You Why really need to talk around. Why you have to you see? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lunch date with a hottie. We meet again. Mon petit canard. No! Excuse me, community elder. Where do my fellow human students consume nutrients? I haven't seen you here before. Are you new? Brand new. Oh. Did you play uh, football at your old school? Yes. I was captain of the insert ferocious animal team name here. I hear they're good. I looked everywhere for Arthur. The library, the gym, the auditorium, the staff lounge, all the classrooms. Yeah, he's not in the girls' locker room either. Well, he should be here. Ivy instructed him to meet her for lunch. Yeah, what happened? I thought Mr. Genius programmed him to follow instructions. I did. Someone must have given him a new instruction that superseded the old one. Toast. Aha! Where did you get that toast? From her? Oh, no. The robot can change his form at will. I'll grab him before he shapeshifts again. Where is Arthur? I hope he didn't transfer back to insert school name here. Hutch, hi. Are you having lunch alone? Because I'm having lunch with my new boyfriend, Arthur. Oh, hello, Arthur. So nice to meet you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to speak to someone who is not the school nurse about something unrelated to Ivy's mental state. He's so into me. Ow, ow, ow! Just, just checking for a toaster. Ow! Okay, let's see how you are with a football. <laughs> All right, throw it to me. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. See how well you can kick. <laughs> this is fantastic. I mean, not for those people. But finally, our team's going to win a few games. I'm going to be the toast of the district. Did you say toast? Okay, that was odd. Why do you have a toaster in your pants? Because the waffle iron would be silly. Ha ha joke. This is no time for ha ha jokes. I demand you tell me exactly what's going on here. Directive two, I must obey. I am in fact not a human student, but a robot created by the handsome genius known as Adam Young. I'm gonna kill that handsome genius. Directive one. Must protect my creator from harm and injury. Must destroy Tater! I hope this doesn't cost me a spot on the team. Man, we gotta find that robot. He can destroy the whole school. Yeah. He could do a lot of bad stuff, too. Is it safe out there? Mr. Tater, is that you? Maybe. Are you flesh or metal? Oh, uh, so you know about the robot. Yes. It is trying to terminate me. Oh, no, we've got to stop him. Right. We've got to stop the robot because we don't want anything to happen to Mr. Tater. You keep the old man busy. I'll go tell the robot where he's hiding. Derby. 
If I survive this, you are getting detention. Must destroy Tater. <laughs> Must destroy Tater. I wanted mashed potatoes. These are Tater Tots. Tater? Thank you. Oh, man. I didn't know they had mashed potatoes. Arthur, stay away from her. Hey, same goes for you, blue eyes. Stand back, everyone. Arthur's not human. He's a robot. He's a machine. He's... My boyfriend. Kiss me. Understood. Wow. It was also good for me. But now I must destroy Tater. No, Arthur. Tater's not really going to hurt me. He was just using a figure of speech. I cannot take any chances. <laughs> So it begins. The age of man has ended, and the age of the machines is upon us. If I don't join the resistance, can I go into the good slave jobs? Something at a desk? Oh, what have I done? Nobody's powerful enough to defeat Arthur. Hey! What happened to Hallway? Looked like it torn apart by robot who found paradox in his programming directives. I have an idea. So do I. Spare me. I am one of you. Destroy Tater. Whatever you do, don't go in here. Tater's not hiding in the science lab. Thank you for saving me the trouble, fellow robot. No, wait, I mean, he is in here. Go in there. Must destroy Tater. Not today. Steel demon. <laughs> Oh, that's not good for you. Cause arthritis in old age. Steel demon! The cracking sound is just a wave file. I can also make armpit fart noises. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> but pray time over. They're struggling. <laughs> I've been stuck here all day. Yeah. How long have you been here? <laughs> Must destroy Tater. Over here. And over here. And over here. Does not compute. Dang was just a distraction. <laughs> Commence Operation Bald Spot. <laughs> Systems overloading. You guys did this for me? I mean, for the real Tater? <laughs> Actually, no. We're holding a Mr. Tater lookalike contest. Yeah, the grand prize is $500. Wow, I should totally enter. You're putting up the prize money. What? Forget it. Okay, everyone take off your costumes. Must destroy Tater! <laughs> Can you take a check? We're gonna need two pieces of ID. This is a system's critical. 
Why do I smell ghost? We did it. We defeated the robot. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you know when I said I was going to work for the robots? <laughs> it was just part of my master plan to take them down from within. I'm totally on the side of mankind. Go humans. <laughs> pureed beef, cream broccoli, and black forest cake juice. Here's your straw. I'm not staying for dinner. Hutch got jealous when he saw me kiss another guy, and he called to ask me out. Oh, so you're dating two guys in one day? Fantastic. Ooh, there's Hutch. Wait till you see how cute he is. Hey, Ivy. Ready for a date? Hutch. Why do you look like that? I won the tater look-alike contest. Congratulations. But do you mind taking off that disgusting costume before we go out in public? Oh, no, no, no. no it's not a costume. For five hundy, we've got to go all in. So I got rid of my contacts, dyed my hair gray, shaved in a bald spot. What about the nose hair? All mine. Let's get my afternoon trim. It grows really fast. <laughs> you should see my mom. So, shall we get going? Oh, I can't. I promised my mom I'd stay home and drink dinner with her. <laughs> but I'm Hutch Anderson. Sorry. No spark. I'm sorry. Ivy kicked you to the curb. But since you'll be at the curb, mind taking out the trash? <laughs> What's in here? I don't know. Some junk my son threw out. 